Hey campers, welcome to PSR Home. I'm Councilor Marley, and today we're gonna to learn how to dribble basketball. I'll teach you guys two dribbling techniques, and at the end, I'll finish off with a spiritual application. I also have my little brother Zion to help me out today. So, let's go have some fun. The first dribbling technique that we're going to learn today is our one-handed dribble. To start off this dribble, you want to put the ball in either hand. And once you do that, just throw the ball to the ground and catch it with that same hand. The ball should go straight down and straight up just like that. If you want to get better at this kind of dribbling, you don't have to stay in one spot and dribble. You can practice by walking forward, start moving. You can move to the side a little bit and walk back. You can even practice dribbling with your non-dominant hand. Just make sure that you guys always have control of the ball with your fingertips on the ball at all times. All right, keep practicing. The second dribbling technique we're going to learn today is called the crossover. In order to do the crossover, you just have to switch the ball from one hand to the other with dribbling. One way you can get better at your crossover dribble without being stationary is dribbling, practicing your crossover dribble in a zigzag pattern like this. Again, make sure that you guys are dribbling with your fingertips and not your palms. And also make sure that you guys have control of the ball at all times, all right? Keep practicing. Here, I have designed to demonstrate our first dribbling technique. As you can see, he is only dribbling with one hand as well as only his fingertips. That will give him and you total control of the ball. Here I had Zion demonstrate our second dribbling technique. As you see, he takes one dribble with one hand and then switches the ball over to the other making the crossover. Zion also keeps his eyes up when he dribbles. That is a good habit to have when dribbling down the court. After being in the sun all day, don't forget to stay hydrated and drink water. Our spiritual application today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verses 1. It reads, Light, space, zest. That's God. So with him on my side, I'm fearless, afraid of no one and nothing. Today, we learn about how to dribble a basketball. And when you dribble a basketball, you want to make sure that you have full control of the ball at all times. But at the same time, you are protecting it from the defender. In the same way, God is handling our lives. And he is also protecting us from the enemy. So because of that, we should be fearless and afraid of them. And that is our spiritual application for today. Thank you guys for joining us today on how to dribble basketball. Hope you guys had a lot of fun and learned something new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.